Hi friends, today we will see how to model the pump suction and discharge lines and after that we will do the analysis and see the results. Okay. So for this first we need to get the PNAD. Okay. So this is a PNAD for this uh, particular system. So uh, in this project they have done uh, suction as different system and discharge as different system. We will uh, we'll do like that suction as one system and a discharge as two system and finally we will combine and we will do the analysis okay so this is uh, from the tank one of the tank this is ROCAP tank tank means it's not like storage tank it's like pressure vessel only see 29087261 CAP tank so this is one of the tank the highlighted uh, the lines which are highlighted in red color or uh, belongs to this system this is suction line this this three or suction line okay and this is a discharge line so if you want to highlight in different color you do it in different color also okay so like this if you want to differentiate a uh, suction and discharge line or uh, i mean you can use different color or if it is in the same system then use the same color this you should not do it now uh, I mean while preparing critical line list itself you should do this activity okay just for uh, our reference I am doing this okay so this is a discharge line uh, these two ore pumps uh, these two ore 29Y8726 P3A and 3B these two ore pumps uh, where is that uh, pump yeah, ROCAP pumps, P3A and 3B. Uh, you see, it is clearly given one duty and standby, means one working and one standby. That condition you need to consider. Uh, you need to refer always the PNAD. If both are working, then no need to consider that working and standby case. So, if they provide like this, uh, they uh, we need to follow as per the PNAD. Uh, if two, three pumps are there, means two working and one standby, or one working, two standby like that uh, we need to consider based on the PNA so you have to refer carefully the PNADs PNAD is a basic document for us so here uh, you need to get all the three isometric drawings from the layout team okay and the line list PMS all necessary inputs we need to collect uh, from the project team okay so uh, these are the isometric drawings so first, uh, uh, yeah. in the isometric drawings, uh, they, they will give in a different sheet. So you need to arrange the sheets. So you need to uh, see where you are going to start the model. Okay, uh, I already told, told you where you have to start the model means you start from the equipment. If there are no equipments, you have to start from tie-in point to tie-in point. If there are equipments, you start from any equipment. If you want to go as for the flow means you can start from this uh, tank, okay, this vessel, okay, or if you uh, you can start it from pump also, that is not an issue. So wherever you are starting, it should it should be an uh, equipment or tie-in point. From that point only you need to start. Then only uh, we will identify very easily. So I will show you a 3D model for this project. You see. So this is a, a big uh, one of the water treatment plant we have done. Okay, so in this you see there are uh, two typical areas, this area and this area. So here, uh, I know I am uh, familiar of this project, that's why I am directly going to this uh, particular pump. If you if you want to find means control F find, you can give R O C A P pump or uh, if you want to enter the tag number you can enter the tag number okay uh, here you see it is highlighted here right click scene we have selected the select means it will go to this one you see the foundation uh, pump foundation has been selected since this project is done using pds uh, 3d modeling software so you will not uh, get correct result because if you done it in a3d or sv3d uh, your uh, the selection tree would have been different okay so you see 
uh, this has been done using uh, PDM, uh, PDS only. So this is the suction line. And this is a tank, that ROCAP tank. This is a ROCAP tank, you see. So these are all, uh, these are all access way the provider they just hide those things. Control H for height, okay. So now this is a, <coughs> sorry. This is one of the, sh I think some shed is there. If you want to hide means you can hide, okay. So this is a tank, Oro CIP tank. So this is that line. So you need to check the nozzle. This nozzle number is N6. How to identify means uh, from PNID. This nozzle is N6, you see. This is N6, so that's why. Or you can find a, a line number. This is a line number, you see. The line number is CH29G87044. 29G87044. This is that line. So uh, the line is coming from the tank and uh, it is splitting into two. It's going to the pumps. Okay, this is that line and it is here. Teaser and uh, it the line is uh, divided into three so two sections see so yeah. if you select this one you see on is 46 line number 7046 and this side is 7045 so 7046 and 7045 so here uh, the after that uh, the discharge lines are there there are also three lines Okay, so this is the discharge line 7048, 7047, 7048 and 7047, 7047 and 7048. After that, uh, it is going to some filter, okay, or strainers. Okay, so now we will start modeling from this equipment, okay. So we need to arrange the isometric drawings in such a way uh, it should be in what, what is the node number or sequence we are going to follow in that way you need to rearrange the isometric time. So from here I am going to start. So before that uh, what we need to do our basic thing is we need to create a unit file and configuration file. So since the, this project is already existing what I am going to do I am going to delete all the things. I am going to copy this file. So you see, any file pump suction, any name you can give pump suction. Okay, uh, I just copy and paste it here. Double click this, and this material warning is coming since uh, this is a very old project. So we have done using. Uh, Caesar 7 version, I think so. So, if you want to update, you can update. Okay. So, if you want to keep uh, the allowable uh, keep means it will check the allowable stress based on 31.3, uh, the 2006, uh, sorry, uh, 10 version or something like that. So, if you if you want to update, you just update it because now we are going to do in 11 version, Caesar 11. Okay, Caesar 11. So, I'm going to just give no update. Okay. No update because I want to use the latest version, latest version of a a semi B thirty one point three. So what I am going to do? I am going to delete all the things except first node because if you want to keep the same properties, so you need to you need to keep the first node. So I am going to delete, select all the things, delete, press delete. Yes. Okay, since this uh, the unit file and uh, configuration file is available for this project, so what I have done, I have copied that file. See, it, uh, Caesar version 5.3, it's a very old version. 
so you see this uh, unit file and uh, configuration file are already available that's why i copy it uh, in your project also yeah. our lead engineer will uh, initially set up the unit files and configuration files and get approved from the client it will be placed in the server so if anyone want to use they have to copy that particular uh, uh, caesar file unit file dot fil and dot cfg and they have to start the modeling okay in any project it will be like that only okay so now we are going to start the model from uh, the equipment so this is the equipment from here we are going to start this is the 29 y8 7 to 6 t1 can you check what is the line size uh, this is 6 inch uh, flange is the f5 and before that g9 is the g what is g g9 is gasket G9 is gasket, okay. But gasket is 7. You have to see the item number, part number 7. What is 7? Spectacle blind, okay. So, first is spectacle blind is there. So, what is the line size? 6 inch, okay. So, first we need to enter all the details. 6 inch. So, don't enter the dimension, okay. First, I have to enter the diameter of the pipe. And then... Uh, uh, and then the material is... Uh, here they are given a uh, different material. So we will use uh, stainless steel material. Because... You see, so we have to go to the spec. What is the spec? The PNED, what they given? 1W0F7. You have to open the PMS, Piping Material Specification. Piping Material Specification, open this one. So this is the PMS, 1W0F7. This is See, the material is FRP or uh, SS316. So, we are going to use SS316. We will see in some other calculation. We will do FRP or GRE piping. Okay. So, now you have to see uh, 2 inch to 24 inch. What is the schedule? This is not pipe. Go to the pipe. You got first node, first page, it will be there. Pipe. So, you see, pipe uh, 2 inch to 16 inch. A312 TP 16L and uh, schedule is schedule 20. Oh, for 16 inch, you see, sorry, 16 inch. 6 inch is Schedule 40 S. So to 6 inch already enter 6 and 40 S. Yes, enter 40 S. Yes. And material is A312 TP 316L. Okay. And you have to select the code as 31.3. Then you have to see the corrosion allowance. So corrosion on CA is there, no? CA, CA 0 mm. So this is for SS316, SS F4P I am not checking. For SS316 corrosion on is 0 mm. So we have to enter 0 here. And pipe density, if we enter the material automatically it will come. And fluid density. For fluid density you need to check the material uh, line list. Go to the line list. Okay, so this is a line list and our line is 44, no? 
Yeah, this is uh, 7044. What is the line list? 7044 and uh, so what is the fluid density? You see, density is 1105. So it is already entered 1105. And what is the temperature and pressure? So design condition temperature is here uh, they mentioned as how much? 65. They all are 65 only. Okay. So here uh, they mentioned as 65, but in this particular project, uh, the what design basis says means there will be a solar radiation temperature. So in the solar radiation temperature, in the solar, so if the solar radiation temperature is more than your design temperature, then you have to, you have to use solar radiation temperature in our analysis. So in this case. Uh, this is uh, your maximum design uh, temperature is 65 degree only so it is lesser than your solar te solar temperature so you need to use solar temperature in this case as 82 degree so that's why here we have used 82 degree okay and then uh, so then t2 this is t1 so if you select this double arrow you will get this one T1 is maximum design temperature and T2 is minimum design temperature. You can select a minimum design. If anything is there, please check. No, second one is operating temperature. You need to see the operating. So operating temperature is 40 degree, you see. 40 degree. So go to the Caesar file and use. T2 is 40 degree that is operating temperature okay and then T3 T3 is minimum design temperature you consider T3 as minimum design temperature so here alternate uh, uh, design temperature they are given maximum only minimum they have not provided anything okay so what uh, we will consider as per our previous project you see this 4 degree we will consider here they mentioned 4 degree only okay and then you delete for t4 and t5 we will see why it is required t4 and t5 yeah. so now we, we are given t three temperatures only and then pressure so you always select design pressure that will be our pressure so design pressure is one bar for the, all the three lines it is one bar so the, we have selected one bar and then hydro pressure what is your hydro pressure what is the your test pressure is there means 1.5 bar so I to select 1.5 bar here you have to enter 1.5 here okay now we have uh, defined the process parameters and then uh, it is not insulated line it is uninsulated line maybe See, uh, insulation is no, so it is an insulated line. If they are given insulation code as H or C, so H for hot insulation and C for cold insulation. So you have to refer your uh, insulation specification to get the insulation density and thickness. Okay, or thickness here itself they are provided sometimes. Okay. Okay. So now what we need to do? We need to enter the flange thickness. Sorry, uh, flange uh, spectacle blind. First is spectacle blind. Now go to here and select in the menu. This is pipe data proof. For the pipe data proof, so you have to select line blanks. So here you need to select. Figure eight. Uh, this is a spectacle blind or any other uh, blanks or the nothing so th this one only you need to select so this is 6 inch 150 rating okay so our uh, dimension is 12.7 here it is given but in our isometrics they are given as 15 mm okay so you see this line is not straight 
Hope you can understand. No, this line is not straight. Uh, uh, this line it should have gone like this. So there is a horizontal skew. Correct? No. There is a horizontal skew. If you see the 3D model, you will come to know. So this line is not straight because you see our axis is our axis is like this. So north, south, east, west. Your axis is like that. So you see your north, south is like this. Your north south is like this and uh, your east west is this towards east okay so instead of coming and going like this they have made like this they made skew so there will be a horizontal skew so this adds indicates there is a horizontal skew you see this is a hatch they just mentioned one line, no? So this this edge they should have shown like this, like this. So there is a horizontal skew. In which direction it is going? So this is north, and opposite south. So this is south. So it is going towards south and. This is which direction it is? Okay. So you see, uh, first we need to define this uh, north direction. So in this, in the, in this, it is in minus minus that direction. But as per our isometric drawings, it is in minus x direction. So you need to change this one in the environment, okay? Environment, special execution parameters and set north direction as minus x. Okay, you see now the uh, north direction has been changed as per our isometric drawing. So you have to be very careful or you need to rotate after completing the model also. So now you copy this one, sorry, you just... Uh, Take a snap and uh, copy it here. So we will come to know now. The line is going towards south, and then that is south means in x direction. It should have gone in x direction and towards minus z. It is minus z. Okay, so this is plus x and minus z okay so you need to first uh, provide the overall dimensions what is the overall dimension here i mean overall dimension means in the plus x direction and the minus z direction plus x direction is plus x direction 278 mm 289 mm they given okay you see 289 mm and then uh, minus the direction 167 mm so what do you need to do the plus x direction you enter 289 first you do if any skew is there what you de delete this rigid element so 289 is plus x and 167 is minus z minus 167 okay you see the top you uh, you can select here this one no different ways or the top if you see you can see there is a skew so the line what amendments this is it should have gone this like this and like this so this is a horizontal skew 
So instead of this, what happened means it is going like this. Okay. Why they have done like this means there, there may be some up obstruction here, you see. Or the nozzle, uh, they, they voted like that. Okay. So if they take statements, what happen? It will it will clash with the structures. So that's why they have uh, made the line as skewed. Okay. And the nozzle itself, it's skewed. So, so whatever the nozzle direction, that nozzle direction only we need to rotate the line. Okay. So the overall dimension is. Uh, 289, 167 and the overall dimension is 317 you see it is given 317 plus 15 that means three one seven plus 15 332 our overall dimension shall be 332 if you double click this one you will get 333 ok that is not an issue, on MM only, no? So, not an issue. Okay. So, you save this one and uh, you assign the line number for this. So, what is your line number? CH29. Uh, I am just giving 7044. You have to give the full line number 7044. Okay. So now what we need to do, we have modeled the full thing from here to here. Now we need to split. Okay. okay. So first is spectacle blind. So for this, uh, we need to see how many node numbers we can uh, split. The first is this point, this nozzle point. After that, spectacle blind is there. So you consider 10, 30, and then 50, 70, like this. Understood, no? So there will be like this. So your spectacle blind is like this. Okay, after that, one flange is there. And then elbow is there. So this is 10 and this node number is 30, this node number is 50, this node number is 70. Okay, so what we need to do? So from here, here to here, you need to make it as 10 to 70. Then only you can break the elements and uh, you can add the elements. Okay. Break the nodes and it add, you can add the element. 10 to 70. Okay. You see at uh, node number 10, they give a name. Name means what is your uh, uh, equipment name. So your equipment name is 29OA8726T1. OA29OA8726 T1 and your nozzle number also that is very important to identify to identify and six your nozzle number okay after that what we have so we have the coordinates uh, this is very important so I will tell you how to define the coordinates here how to assign the coordinates so for that you need to understand the axis clearly your Caesar axis is this is your Caesar axis and this is your isometric drawing uh, coordinates. So you need to correlate these two. Okay. So in, uh, in isometric drawing, they are given as east. East means which direction? In Caesar, east is. One minute. I will. I will show you this one. I will save and open again. Isometric drawings. Okay, you see, this is XYZ. 
what I will do, I will copy this. So here, I'm just copying here. Just leave Y direction. Here, so this is your north, then opposite direction, this is your south, and right side is east, this is west. Okay, so like this, you need to remember. That means, you see, again I am copying these things, for your easy understanding only I am telling like this, this is plus x, and opposite is minus x. North is minus x. And this direction is Z plus Z. That means West is plus Z. And East is minus Z. Okay, now uh, I think you can understand in a better way. Understand? No, no. Your East. What is your East is? 815460 that means in the z direction minus z direction you need to enter this value minus 815460 okay at the, go to the uh, spreadsheet and here you can see this is like on uh, globe is there here is a view or set coordinates you select this one you can enter uh, at any time this value okay but better you enter at the starting time itself. So I am just deleting the previous, uh, they are given some coordinates. So you see, uh, first coordinate is in isometric, they are given easting. You have to select properly because this is the equipment. Uh, tag number and the equipment tag number whatever coordinate it says that the coordinates only you have to enter because you are starting the model from the equipment so east is 815460 that means minus z 815460 minus 815460 okay then the next coordinate north north is or minus x again 128082 minus x 12 minus minus 128982 128982 you have to carefully enter the values and then elevation is plus 4475 that is plus y uh, upwards okay plus 4575 so you can enter 4575, just 4575. So now you have assigned the coordinates at the first node. Okay, then click OK. Save this one. This is very important. I will tell you for what reason. I already explained it in the uh, different video. So now we will see. Uh, once you complete the modeling, then how to check the coordinates and all, I will tell you. So uh, like this, if you make it now, it will be easy for us. For the initial stage of the modeling, means if uh, uh, if you are near to Caesar or if you are near to stress analysis, then if you do like this, then it will be easy. Okay. So this one all system number. Uh, I will tell you how to do the support markup and all at the later stage. Okay. First, we'll complete the modeling, uh, then analysis, then we'll go for the report. 
So here spectacle blind is 15 mm. Now we need to break this one. Control B and then 15 mm. Just give your node number as 30. Okay. And 15 mm. Okay. You see 15 mm has been splitted. Double click the rigid and go to pipe data pro 6 inch. 150 rating and you will get the weight 5.39 kg that is into 10 minutes 53.9 so 54 newton i am entering okay so you see one uh, flange like can think it came then one uh, flange is there well neck flange that is f5 f5 is 6 inch well neck flange 150 rating Schedule 40 is go to pipe data pro. ASME 16.5 planges 6 inch 150 rating and schedule 40 is okay. So, what is our length of the flange? 89. So, first you split this one, go to the next node, you split this one, control B. Make it as 15, node number, make it as 50, and then it is, what is your uh, length of the flange? 89, 89 mm, and OK. So now we enter the double, you enter double click, uh, sorry, uh, double click the rigid, and enter the weight of the flange. The weight of the flange is, already I told you, you have to add flange weight plus nut bolt nine, nut weight. 10.91 plus 2.91 13.81 into 9.81 you have to give to get the values in Newton okay so just multiplying by 10 138 okay 138 I'm just centering 138 and then this flange is there okay so your flange leakage uh, and all they given I'm just I'm deleting You see, after that flange is there, your own bend is there. Number 3 is, I, part number 3, it is 90 degree elbow. So, for elbow, you have to select bend. Okay. So, I told you know, whenever elbow is connected with any flanges, one flange or two flanges, before and after means, you have to select your type, the radius, type, single flange. If one more flange is coming means in the downward direction it is dropping no. So if one more flange is there then you have to select double flange okay. So you select single flange for this. Single flange for this okay. Now save and go to the next. Oh, you see flanges are there. So next it is dropping. That is 317. The dimension, vertical dimension is 317. Here it is given. No? This is 317. So go to the next node. Alt C. Alt C for the next node. Okay. And in the downward direction, you just give 317. But what is this 317? 317 that includes the flange thickness. So you know the flange thickness is 89 mm. So you have to subtract that by 317. 317 minus so 89. You will get 229. 228. So what we need to do directly you enter the value of flange. Sorry uh, elbow 229. Okay, and then model the flange. Go to the next node. You know the flange uh, uh, dimension and weight also already entered. No, I am just remembering. Uh, remember this uh, value weight. So I have entered here. So you see now two flanges are there. What we need to give then you have to change this one to double flange. Okay, 
say this. Okay, again one more flange is here. Okay, go to the next node. I'll see. Minus 89. And then weight is 138. So you just type uh, a select flange. Flange means flange. So now, I mean, uh, already we have done the modeling. So just uh, I'm giving. You just give, no? So I'm no, I will not be giving anything like that. Go to the next node. 534, you see, overall dimension is 534 from here to here. So they have to elbow from that flange to elbow. That means you have to uh, detect the flange thickness. So already we have modeled flange. So our overall value is 534 plus 89. So you will get the remaining spool. Then uh, an elbow is there, select bend. Okay. And then you need to see uh, the line which is going in which direction. See the line is going in minus that direction, correct no? Because your line is moving in this direction, so it is minus z direction. Understood? No, so it is going in minus z direction. The dimension is 398. Because at 398 some branch connection is there. So what is the size of an inch? So no need to consider that one. Or if you want to consider, you can model in the minus z, minus 398. So you have to select oh, what is the connection they are given. Well developed means well developed or soft wallet means soft wallet. So it is soft wallet. So you select socket connection here. So there is no soft wallet in uh, Caesar. So you select socket. Okay. So go to the next node. And uh, now you see again 398 mm and minus Z direction, the same direction. Minus 398. And one elbow is there, select bend. Okay. After that, again, uh, where it is going, it is going in plus Z plus X direction. It is going in plus X direction. So you have to define a bend here. Go to the next node and plus X direction. What is the dimension? 457. Four fifty-seven. But you see one of uh, support is there. This is a support. You see, S one five is there. No, that means this double. So this double line is there. No, that means on support is there. Four fifty-seven minus one fifty-nine. 457 minus 159 means 298 mm is there. So I need to make it as 298. So here one support is there. I just add one support restraints. Okay, plus Y. Then 159 is there. Okay. So in the 3D model, you can see how the model. Okay. Yeah, you see on support is there. After that, on support is there. Just uh, rest support. Okay. Then go to the next node. Next node is 159. Uh, we know the flange dimension 89. That means minus 89 plus 159. So if you give, you will get correct damage, uh, correct uh, result. So if you are directly subtracting like uh, 159 minus 89, 159 minus 89 is flange length. So in Caesar, if you do like this, then uh, you will get the wrong result. Means 159 
plus 89 it will consider say 248 so don't do like that always plus 89 plus 159 minus 89 plus 159 you will get correct value ok then go to the next node what, oh, what is our flange is there 89 mm and we know the weight of flange 138 so after that on expansion below the provided uh, just we will model we will see uh, whether we will use expansion joint or not so at 6 expansion joint we will consider now as a uh, any valve like that expansion joint I will tell you later how to model the expansion joint now we will consider 6 inch any flange sorry any valves flange valve flange valve 6 inch 150 rating so we will take weight from this one oh, ok 77 kg we will take it as 770 so what is the dimension they have given 181 ok just for modeling purpose only 181 I will tell you after analysis uh, uh, why they are used expansion joint okay. and their weight is 77 kg 7 into 10 770 newton so after that one more flange is there that is the dimension of the flange 89 and you know the weight of the flange is 138 after that 777 is there 777 is from one flange to other flange so it is going in x direction only that's why I didn't change anything so 777 minus 89 minus 89 so find it it has 9 as your small dimension go to the next node 599 and go to the next node and flange is there that is 89 then 138 so when you see one valve is there that is 12 hot number is 12 gate wall 150 rating go to pipe plate approve or you see sometimes they used to give the weight here in some projects ok you can take weight from pipe plate approve or from basically you have to take the weight from valve GAD they used to give valve GAD ok so flange gate wall 6 inch and the weight is 88 kg ok So go to the next node. Here the dimension is 272. The same direction. Weight is 88 kg. 88 into 10, 880. Then again on flange is 89. Then weight is 138. So after the flange 214 dimension is 214 and uh, support is uh, 214 minus 77 that means 137 so out of 137 we have we have to reduce flange thickness 48 m so we have to give 48 mm here and in that 48 mm we have a one support plus y I am going I am uh, giving plus y only ok then 77 mm as well go to the next node 77 ok now so we have completed this uh, uh, first uh, first sheet of this isometric drawing ok so here uh, up to here whether we have done the modeling correct uh, in a right way or not we need to check we can check using the coordinates because 
already we have defined the coordinates at the first node okay then here at the end we have some coordinates so you can check the coordinates so what what we need to do here your coordinates is a string Eight one six four double two. Okay, in Caesar, go to the not particular node number. This is your last node number. That is four ten. Four ten is your node number here. Okay. So four ten is your node number. So at four ten, what we need to do? Go to node four ten and you have to compare the values. Select four ten and already I told now how to measure the distance so in the same distance select distance here and between elements okay or I have to give origin two nodes okay origin means start node and two nodes from origin you see I have selected origin that is node number 10 to this particular node if you select like that what will show Uh, to sorry uh, you see so it will show the start point and end point start point says start point is your origin node that is node number 10 and end point is your node number that is 410 so see east is what is our east One minute uh, again I will go back to that particular I'm uh, just take a screenshot and I will paste it here so that you will uh, get a clear understanding okay so you see our east is minus Z that means in minus Z one minute I will minimize this Caesar also so that you will get a better idea uh, okay, so here go to the uh, measured distance between elements origin to two nodes. So your east now you see your east is eight one six four double two. East means minus z eight one six minus eight one six four two three. Here it is four two two. So one mm difference uh, will not have any impact. So up to twenty five mm or fifty mm we can leave. Okay. And your north, you see, one to seven eight seven hundred. Your north means which direction? North means minus six. So one to seven eight, one to seven eight seven zero two. So two mm difference only it's there. No, that that will not make any issue. And then vertical dimension that is three seven two zero. So in the vertical dimension three seven two three is there. So a 3 mm difference is there. So whatever uh, modeling done by us, it is correct. It is a, a more or less matching with our isometric drawing. So, so there is no uh, dimension mistake. Or uh, if you make any, I mean, if you do any mistake, like uh, for example, instead of 272, you have given 172 mm. Okay. Now if you check the coordinates. origin and two elements so if you check the coordinates uh, in which directions we have done in x direction x means uh, south that is maybe on north okay minus x so so what is what should be a dimension one seven sorry one two seven eight seven hundred you see one two seven eight eight not two that means some 100 mm difference is there because we have reduced 100 mm no 1 2 7 8 7 100 minus 1 2 7 8 8 0 2 so 102 mm difference is there so you can find the mistakes like this okay in any direction you can find the mistake because we have found lot of mistakes you see instead of 272 I have reduced to 172 so uh, I mean 
the coordinates are very much important if it is a 3d modeling project if it is a 2d project we cannot give coordinates just you give elevations only okay so if it is a 3d modeling project you have to provide the coordinates properly then only you can check the modeling correctness and uh, for the wind purpose also we need to give the coordinates properly okay so then it is going to the next node you see next sheet uh, the line which is getting connected to 7045 so this is 7045 the line it is getting connected to here this is a T and our dimension is 143 143 so our dimension is 143 in X direction okay I didn't copy this one minute It is in x direction plus x direction the same direction only go to the lost element select the lost element i'll see it is 143 in x direction so here one t is there. for t you need to select shifts and t's and then type you have to select welding t okay if it is a socket only t then you have to weld that is socket welded t okay so this is a welding tee for about 2 inch and all but welded tee so we are using welding tee here ok so after that uh, uh, the line is going in the left direction as well as in the right direction that means in the plus z direction and minus z direction also we are, uh, line is moving so what we need to do we are going to do modeling the this direction minus z direction because this is belong to this side so up to the pump suction Okay. So in the minus z direction, you see in the minus z direction, the line is traveling like this. That is in minus z direction. The dimension is 697. Go to the next node. And in the minus z direction, it just give minus 690. Correct? Huh? 697. After that, one uh, bend is a uh, one elbow. Then again, line is traveling towards plus six. See, it is uh, going in this direction. Line is going in this direction. That is plus six. That is four seventy six. So uh, before that, what we need to do? Uh, you see the line, uh, the whatever t they have used. That is six by six inch equal t they use okay so you need to see because this line number has been changed so you need to check the properties I am directly modeling but uh, first you need to check the properties I uh, mean properties in a sense uh, the process parameters so since all the uh, all the three lines having the same temperature and pressure so we are not going to change anything and see PMS also remains the same okay so no 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 no, no need to change anything okay you can see so we will continue the modeling like that. Only thing you need to enter the line number in a different uh, 67045. This is your line number. So after that 476 summum is uh, in the x direction. Go to the next node. Go to the next node. Uh, minus 89 plus 476 because our flange is the you have to detect the flange okay 477 is including the flange then model the flange flange dimension is 89 and weight is 138 again uh, you see on valve is there and already gate wall we have defined the same gate wall is there 272 then wait you take the weight from this gate wall itself 880 
0.88. When one flash is a Eighty-nine. Weight is one thirty-eight. Oh, sorry, not flange. You see, on spectacle blind is the dimension is sixteen mm. Okay, so you change this one to spectacle blind sixteen mm. Because already we modeled on spectacle blind at the initial no, starting. What is the weight? Fifty-four mm. So, sorry, fifty-four newton. So enter the weight as 54 newton here, and then next is flange. Flange is 89 mm. Weight is 138. After that, say uh, on support is there. The support uh, how to how to arrive the support dimension means. The overall dimension from this flange to this flange is 545. Okay. This flange to this flange is 545. So if you subtract this one, 240 they are given from this support to this flange. 545 minus 240. You will get 305. This dimension is 305. So in this 305 already we have modeled a uh, flange. So you have to reduce the dimension. 305 minus 89. So 216 your dimension up to the support. 216 on support is there and the, uh, double click this restraint to define the support. Just time again plus Y. Go to the next node. And two, uh, then is 240, the dimension is including flange. So go to the next node, 240. You have to subtract the flange dimension, that's 240. After that, you have to model the flange, 89, 138. Then you see, uh, this is Trainer is there, 8, part number 8. If you go there, it is speciality component that is white type strainer they use. In the PNAD, if you check, no, that is strainer one. See, this is this one. So, this is a strainer. This portion is no, no this is strainer. White type strainer they use. So, now what we will do. Uh, Generally, strainer data sheet will be there. If you don't have strainer data sheet, then go to the pipe. Go to pipe data pro. Your yes, strainers will be there. This is white type strainer. There are different types of strainer. Okay. A basket strainers or the bathtub strainer. So now we are using this white type strainer with six inch, 150 rating. Weight of the strainer here it is given as 92 kg. Okay. Then go to the next element. I have to check the dimension in the isometric drawing. So the overall dimension is 150 here and then 266. Okay, 150 plus 266 they are given. That means 150 plus 266 416 so enter 416 here and then double click the rigid enter the weight from pipe data pro that means 92 kg that 920 okay 92 into 10 so if you have a confusion in getting the dimension of the strainer you can measure from pipe uh, this one 3d model also if they have provided the correct dimension. You see from the 3D model. How to measure means the review. Select here. Okay at the, this point. So you see uh, it is Y dimension. The axis is in Y direction. You see X, Y, Z. 553. Okay. So here it is 416. What we have modeled is. 416 mm. So we need to model 
553 so we will see so that is flange to flange or uh, so here they have given us some 400 mm also they have provided yeah yeah this dimension uh, not this dimension I think this is 266 is uh, maybe uh, I don't know which time oh this dimension this uh, this okay now a strainer this Q dimension only this 266 you see this dimension from here to here from here to here is 400 just given us 400 you see so 400 plus 150 550 it should be 550 so what if you have any dimensions you have to measure it from 3d model so it is given us 553 and uh, what we have got is 550 that is okay with 3 mm gasket thickness or something they might have provided no issue and then one flange is uh, go to the next flange so next uh, node flange is 89 and you have to enter the weight is 138 Okay, go to the next node and you see uh, here the dimension of the reducer this is a reducer this is a reducer okay so dimension directly they have not given they have given the overall dimensions from flange to reducer so we know the flange dimension 228 minus 89 138 you can cross check the uh, reducer dimension also from the pipe data probe so this is reducer uh, part number is 4 what is 4? eccentric reducer 6 by 4 inch go to pipe data probe menu fittings fittings but welded fittings and you can see but to let eccentric reducer what is the dimension 6 by 4 you see lot of uh, fittings fittings means our oh, elbow T and reducers and other things are all fittings only so a cap end cap will be there so end cap also it comes under fitting okay. you have to select the correct uh, fittings okay. this is eccentric reducer So eccentric reducer 6 by 4 inch what is the dimension 140 so what we got 139 so use 149 so up to flange we have model so after that reducer is the so 140 and since this is a eccentric reducer I already explained you know so eccentric reducer and uh, this is flat side up flat side top or flat side up that means flat side will be the uh, plane portion and this will be a curved portion okay like this if you have a reducer Okay. So like this. So in the elevation, the front view, your flat side will be at the top. That is flat side up. This is an eccentric reducer. Okay. So you will have a pipe like this. This is a bigger end pipe. For your understanding, I just am trying. Okay. So our pipe will be uh, in this direction. That is six inch pipe. And our four inch pipe will be in this direction. Okay, like this only. Like this only arrangement will be there. 
So you will see uh, the axis, the different axis will be there. That is the difference. Axis means at the center. Center axis will have a difference. So here, uh, if you check the 6 by 4, 27 offset will be there. That offset is nothing but this offset only. This dimension only they will call it as the, uh, the 20. So this dimension, no? this this is the dimension. Okay, so this dimension is twenty-seven mm. They given no? the twenty-seven offset is there. That is this dimension only. You see here, this is the dimension. So here it is flat side down. Whatever they have shown is flat side down. Flat side up or down or flat side top or flat side bottom. Okay. So here it is flat side bottom. So we are more we are doing the modeling from this direction only. Okay. So if you are going like this, then it is going upwards. Okay. Means you have to give this uh, uh, offset dimension in plus y. You have to give the offset dimension is plus y. If you are going in a reverse way, means if you are doing the modeling from here to here, from uh, if you started the modeling from the pump, then it will come downwards. So you have to give the uh, offset value in minus y direction. So the, the, that you have to be very much careful. Okay. Then your uh, select reducer here, reducer diameter 2 is 4 inch. Your next size, next size, next size is 4 inch. That is 6 inch by 4 inch. And what is the thickness uh, we need to see? 4 inch, schedule 40 s, same schedule 40 s, 70 enter, thickness 2 as 40 s. Okay, then go to the next uh, node number. So if you go to the next node number, automatically your line size will change. Okay, so your overall dimension is 249. Go to the next uh, node number, you see your line size has been changed to 4 inch. Okay, that is 279. Your dimension is 279. But uh, your flange, the flange size is F7 you see, F7 and the F7 the line size is 4 inch and 40 s and it is 300 rating you see uh, you have to be careful this is 300 rating maybe for the flanges equipment flange, the pump vendor flanges or 300 that's why they match this one so 4 inch 300 rating you have to select here Go to the flange, 16.5 and 4 inch, 
select 300 and your dimension is 86 okay so that means you have to subtract your 86 minus 86 and then go to the next node here you have to model as 86 and you have to give weight take the weight from pipe data pro that is 11.65 plus 3.16 14.81 that is into 10 means 148 give weight uh, just mentioned 148 here okay you see the weight of the uh, 6 inch flange is lesser than this 4 and 3 under 18 flange okay so here this is connected to pump so this is a pump suction okay so you, uh, this is 29 p 3 okay so this is a pump so you need to anchor here for pumps we are just to model the pump like this only it's a very simple not like a vessel and all you have to go like this and you have to anchor here where it is getting bolted okay and then if you have uh, well, a discharge line so discharge line means the charge flammage is like this means you have to go like this it's very simple you see so we have model up to here here we have model so after that we need to model a small portion of the pump up to the center line of discharge like this like this and if you want to model the discharge you have to go up or if you don't want to model you have to go like this up to the center line of discharge okay and then go downwards where it is getting bolted you see at, uh, I will show you the vendor drawing so based on the vendor drawing we need to model okay or if you want to model up to the bolt means here uh, you, you can stop or if you want to go up to foundation you can um, anchor here okay now here uh, we need to give the name you okay, always try to give the name for easy identification okay so here you should not give from because from is this the flange, other end of the flange so you have to give two because we are modeled in this direction okay so this 29OE8726 29 oh, 29OE8726-P3A that is this is pump A and other, other side is pump B okay so like this we have modeled uh, up to pump okay and uh, you see the routing it is typical correct no so it is symmetrical only so it is symmetrical what we will do we will uh, uh, copy that one and uh, we will keep it for pump B because up to here we have modeled so what we need to do we need to copy this one from uh, here from this T okay this is 450 sorry 430 430 is this load number 432 up to the end of the pump I mean flange of the pump 6 17 432 17 you copy this elements 430 so you can give continuous load number here or if you want to change generally uh, you practice like in a such a way that give different uh, series for different line numbers if the model is small for example this is one line number it is up to 430 started so again if you want to change this node number okay if you want to renumber this one means go to here elements from 430 or from uh, okay from 430 you want uh, sorry from 450 you want to change you can change this one select all 
block operation three number and uh, start node as I am giving 1010 okay and node increment uh, 20 I am giving just give ok you see so the line number has been sorry the uh, node number has been changed you see from here to here it is like that but if you see at the elbow still we have the old numbers old node numbers 450 it was there ok so you need to double click this you need to delete this one again we need to select the nodes then you will get the fresh node number ok so you have to be very careful in that others and all it is uh, automatically it will get changed so better you practice like this uh, uh, different series for different line numbers ok that is very easy ok now we need to see from 430 to 1010 we, need, uh, we are going to copy this one elements 432 and right click block operation duplicate and if you want to do the mirror you can do it do the mirror uh, it is not required no or you can do the mirror also if you want to do but just give I am going to give some increment as 1000 because the next node number uh, next series is 2010 that is a different line number no so I am going to give like this ok I am going to give just copy it and uh, since I have copied the same ident uh, identical so since it is the same direction you need to change this particular direction because your line is in this direction minus that direction ok so now we are going to model and plus that direction so you have to change this node number from here to here this node number you have to change I mean node not node, node number or uh, direction so it's it already been copied sorry it is going in some other way ok so I have given what is it 430 Where is that 3000 one minute what I have given I don't know so I am uh, again I am going to delete this ok so now I am going to start from this T this T no 430 select 432 1270 right click block operation and then duplicate the end of the two. Okay. So your node number is uh, okay. Four thirty. I uh, given wrong. Wrongly I provided. Four thirty. I want this node number as two thousand series. So two thousand ten two zero one zero minus four thirty. One five eight zero. I take you one five eight zero. Then only you will get 2000. Okay. Just give you see. You see, it is 2000. Now it has been changed to 2000. So the 2000 node number will not be here. Uh, it is nowhere connected to this model. So what we need to do, this D node number, you have to define correctly for this first point first point you need to change it to 430 and the direction also you have to change it to plus z because uh, we are modeling this way no so here you need to change this one to plus z now you see uh, this model came okay, but uh, the line size is taken from this one because this is our end dimension so whatever we are given this line size only it has been selected here see this is 4 inch 
the same four inch getting selected what we need to do here go to here and you change this one line you change this line say so for six inch and make it as uh, the thickness also to be updated and your line number also to be updated this is what is this line number this is going to 7046 okay so here it is 7046 and I need to check the dimension properly from this T to this T what is the dimension okay so here from here to here is 143 they are given 143 go to the next sheet 143 plus 609 uh, you have to check the dimension properly 609 plus 143 sorry 143 plus 609 752 so dimension is you have to change this one to 752 okay that's what you have to check uh, properly what we need to we can check the coordinates okay uh, it's, instead of this you can check the coordinates first we will check the coordinates at this one the pump suction whether we have done correctly or not this pump so what is your coordinate so, uh, uh, your coordinate is how much I am just uh, take a screenshot and I am going to paste it there what uh, previously we have checked no? yeah for your better understanding uh, where is it So now we are going to check the coordinate for this pump suction lines. So this node, select this node and uh, measure here that distance origin to two nodes. So this is your uh, direction. So E means minus Z. So in the end point you have to select uh, minus Z means 817120. So here 817119. So one of them difference is there. Uh, that is correct. So whatever uh, in each direction it is correct. Then go to the north direction. North is minus x. 127 There is a difference. So we need to see. 127 Minus. 1276161692 20 mm differences sir so somewhere we have missed uh, 20 mm so it is okay but anyway you have to check properly where we have missed the 20 mm okay uh, we need to check properly so here only no so we need to see where uh, maybe somewhere in the strainer or some other location i might have missed this 16 mm model we have model it is and elevation what is the elevation sorry elevation is 3747 and uh, elevation is 3750 okay 3 mm only no issue okay so this is a small difference only so the, uh, then no issue so go to this pump and we'll see what is the uh, node number We'll check whether any mismatch is there or not. So like this only you have to spend time to check uh, the modeling which your lead engineer will check like this only. Okay. 
So if you want to do the self check, so you can uh, do it in the same way. So the, the so that we will avoid the errors. Okay, so this is for the other pump, pump B, 3B. So here you can change this name as 3B. Here we have uh, given name. We copy this and here change this as 3B. Okay, save this one. So now again what we need to select this node number which distance origin to two nodes and they say uh, in the each direction that is minus z 815671 815671 so 1mm difference is there no issue in the each direction and in the north direction that is minus x one two one two seven six two one two one two seven six one nine two one two seven six one nine two minus one two seven six two one two twenty mm difference the same thing now okay we have copied that same only uh, the pump three a only we have copied no so it is okay. So 20 mm difference we need to find but uh, now it is okay. okay. Here you see this is diameter I have selected so it is showing in different color. Means this color is 6 inch and red color is 4 inch. Okay. So you need to check like this. So now we have modeled the pump, uh, sorry not pump for the uh, one minute. Here you anchor it. The first node, node number ten. Select anchor A. Okay. So we'll see now how to model the pumps. So what we need to do? You go to top view. Take uh, top view. So we will see like this. Uh, we have to go like this up to the discharge and uh, drop down. I uh, will open the vendor drawing of pump. This is 3A, you see, general arrangement drawing and loading data of pump. Okay. So, this is the pump vendor drawing, uh, general arrangement drawing and loading data. So, in pump drawing, you will have all the details of the pump, like uh, this is a motor and this is uh, a pump and uh, where it is getting connected, you uh, see. This is a foundation, a supporting structures, and then you find the nozzle loads. What is the loads considered for a suction and discharge? Okay. So this is very important for us. Uh, stress point of view, this nozzle allowable loads, maximum force and moments. Uh, it is very important for us. Uh, this we will see in the results. Okay. So. All vendor drawings, if you will come to the stress engineer, what they will do means they will check with respect to PNID and with respect to stress design basis whether the sizes and uh, allowable loads provided by the vendor is correct or not. Sometimes the vendor might have uh, provided, uh, used to provide wrong values, means some lesser values. So, for example, if uh, for this pump, what is your design code? So, you need to check the design code here. So if it is given with good or uh, if they are not provided, we will see uh, how to take it, uh, take the standard. Here the design code they are not provided, maybe it is different. For example, if it is an AP610 pump, so you have to go to AP610 pump, AP610 standard and uh, you need to cross check the values. FX, FY, FZ, that is forces along X and X, Y and Z and moments along X, X, Y, Z. Okay. 
So that is our role uh, in uh, reviewing the vendor drawings. And also you have to check the sizes. Means main uh, main uh, nozzle is for us suction and discharge. So whether you see uh, why they have considered 300 rating. I told you know the isometric drawings. This particular flange only. All other flanges are 150 rating, but this the flange which is getting connected to the pump that is the counter flange of the pump it is 300 rating F7 this 300 rating why they use means in the pump they use 300 rating so in order to get the correct PCD okay because for uh, to I mean in order to get the correct PCD they use this one for example 4 inch 150 serving 8 volts and 4 inch one fifty sorry 300 is having 8 volts 150 is also having 8, so 8 volts okay but we should um, we should see what is the difference here yeah, you see stud bolt size is different here it is 3 by 4 inch m20 and even 150 so if there is a difference in stud bolt size then your a bolt will not match no so for that reason whatever given in the vendor drawing that you have to follow that the same flange rating to be followed for the piping holes so your what is the suction size 4 inch 300 rating and where is your suction first you have to uh, spend time how to study the pump vendor drawings pump not pumps oh, no for all the equipments okay oh, what is N1 is suction, you say nozzle number is N1 and N2. So where is N1 here? So this is the elevation view. So N1 is here. So this is your suction. Okay. I mean this is your suction. The line that is coming from the tank. Like this. Okay, this is the suction. And your flow is in this direction. And where is N2? So this is N2, you see the uh, side view they have given. N2 that means this is N2 this is N2 so your line will be connected to the discharge nozzle is here only so your flow direction is here like this it is coming and it, it will go like this up to here okay so here you see N2 is at the top so this is N2 so you have to study properly the vendor drawings so in the top you see this is a discharge plan okay so n1 and n2 and what is the difference here you see 102 mm so what we are going to model is up to here from this flange because already one flange we have modeled okay already piping flange we have modeled then we have to model the equipment flange okay so equipment flange we have to model after that up to here from here to here from this flange to center of discharge This here up to here this is a center line of ditches okay so overall dimension is 102 mm 102 from here to here yeah but it looks very small okay so after that what we need to do we need to model towards downwards So it's not like vessel modeling. Vessel modeling will use the vessel diameter and uh, properties from the vessel. Now in pumps, what we will use? We will use only the pipe properties only. Okay. So uh, only thing is we need to get we need to select the correct anchor point. You see here it is getting bolted. So what we need to we need to model up to here and uh, make it as anchor. So what is this dimension? This dimension you have to get it from somewhere in the drawing. You need to study carefully and get the dimension. You see the overall dimension here too is 347. 
and what is this dimension this member size you need to see the channel they used is here 347 uh, they are given from center to here is 347 and uh, if you know this dimension we will get it easily here it is 63 mm they are given maybe 63 63 126 we can consider like that because at the center no so 126 347 minus 126 221 mm so you can cross check with the 3d modeling also Say measure and uh, go to center of the pipe. Center line. Okay, this is center, and uh, here up to here you can select. What is the dimension? This Z direction. That is 210 mm. It is given. Two ten. Uh, here, what what we got it? Two twenty one. Okay, approximately it's same only. So you can model like that. Okay. So first, you go like this. Go to here, and here we made it as anchor. So whenever you are starting from here, whenever you are going to model an equipment or you are going to continue from anchor, you have to use this C node. It is connecting. So you can give. Here is one seven, one two seven. What more, uh, or else what we need to do, do means can give uh, node number like this for any nozzles. So nozzle you can give like this. Uh, for example, if it, if this is a vessel for vessel, you can give nozzle number as one. Okay, and uh, this pump as two or this uh, this pump as 3 like that also you can renumber we will see first uh, we will uh, this one you complete this one then 1271 I am giving C node as 1271 1270 to 1271 go to the next node sorry go to the last node alt C you have to start from the C node 1271 Okay, and you give different node numbers like 10,000 and 010. Okay. Go to like that and uh, you have to measure this dimension. It is 102 they are given. So 102 is very very less. Okay, you give 102, 102. And you make it as rigid. So if you want to model as flange, you can model or you can leave like this also, not an issue. Okay. Then go to the next node. And then it is dropping down at 221 mm. Make it as rigid. Okay, so here only bolted, it is getting bolted. So you have to give anchor here. You should not give C node here. It should be anchor only. So like the same way we need to model for this pump also. This pump modeling is like this. If it is a side section and top discharge. If it is a side section and uh, side discharge then uh, modeling procedure will be different. The same only but uh, the distance between the side section and side discharge you have to check it from the vendor drawing. Like for example if uh, any pump is there. Okay. So like this, side section and side distress. I will show you some example later. Okay. One minute. This is for this pump. So we will copy this pump uh, uh, for this one also. 
so two eight two eight five one. Or you can model also the note and if what is the last note. So here two eight five one. I'm uh, going to use one zero one one zero. So in the x direction only it should go in the x direction one one four. Make it as rigid without weight. Go to the next element minus two twenty one. I have to make it as anchor here and uh, double click the rigid without weight. So like this, you can do it. Uh, this is very simple one. Okay. This is a way to model the pumps. I will show you some uh, different side section and uh, top discharge and. Uh, Section and discharge, end section and top discharge. No, not this. One. Ah, you see, this is end section and end discharge pump. So here, at the center, they consider anchor. It might have bolted here, or you can model like this also. Oh, from here, here, and here you can anchor. Okay, like this also you can. This is for one of the pumps. I will show this one. We will do the modeling uh, in the next one. This uh, this particular pump. Okay. So if you want to go to the old model, here recent file. Go to file, recent piping files, pump section. Uh, this is our model. Now we are going to model this equipment here. You see. Okay. So here you define C node because we are going to model this. And uh, what is the no uh, nozzle number? N6. You open the vendor drawing for this vessel. Where is the vendor drawing? Yeah, this is a vendor drawing. And you have to identify this is a vessel drawing. Detail drawing of uh, 2908 to 7261. And our nozzle is N6. First, uh, you need to see what is N6 outlet to pump. Here it is there. So it is connected to pump 3A and 3B. N6. We need to find where is N6. You see? Oh yeah, N6 is here. Okay. So this is uh, this is very simple, I think so. Because if you have any uh, top nozzle means then we can model the entire thing. The same way only we are going to model here. So this is an elevation view. And uh, this is a plan view. So you can see where is N6. Uh, you see N6 is here. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to model up to the center of the equipment, from air to here, from air to here, we need to model up to the center of the equipment and you have to come down, you understand, no? See? So the pumps. So we are here. We are modeled. Uh, we are modeled the pipe up to here. So we need to go inside. Uh, we need to go inside the equipment and come down. So up to the support anchor support, we need to model. 
So here the anchor support is this legs where it is getting welded. So in this you need to see where the yeah you see these are the supports. These are the support. So supports are there, no? So we don't know how many legs are there. So these are the two legs. In the model you can see how many legs are there for the support this tank. I think four four legs are there. The top you can see. Yeah, this one. to model all the four just model from here to center of the tank and go down drop down up to this dimension so this dimension is important up to the thousand up to one meter okay then anchor here you need to anchor it here at one location only at the center that is okay, okay. you have to do uh, the modeling of vertical equipment like this one now what we need to do, we have to go in this direction. So go to the lowest element. 10130 is the pump. Okay, so go to the next node. So what is your from node means? Your C node of this equipment. What is your C node here? 11. Control in 11. And so here you see there is a size difference because the previously the pump uh, we have used different size that is for uh, pipe size we have used and here what is the size here this is 6 inch and there we have used 4 inch so now we have to change this size based on our nozzle size if it is uh, 10 inch means you have to use 10 inch or if you just I will, I will show you with the model so in which direction it is going it is uh, not in the straight direction so it is in the skewed direction skew means it is you see it is in this direction instead of going in z direction or minus z direction so it is going in different direction like uh, So here what we have used at the start point it is going in x direction and minus z direction. So it should be in opposite that means minus x direction plus z direction. You have to define like that. Told end. So just uh, or you can enter this value. What is this value? This cosine values. 0 0.0866 first uh, we need to enter the flange dimension first I will enter the flange dimension some value we have to enter what was that? Uh, minus 6 just I have entered some value 10 ok so then we need to see sorry this cosine value you need to copy it from here. What is that? Uh, 0.866. Okay. 0.866 and 0.5. What is the last number? Control end. 0 but it should be in opposite direction. No, what we have to do minus 0 0.866 and uh, this is 0 0.5 because previously it, it was in minus x, minus you see minus z and positive z, positive x. So now we are we are changing the value. It is moving in opposite direction. No, so 
you do like this, you see. And uh, what is your flange dimension? It is 89. Uh, you see, it is coming in correct direction. Is correct, huh? Yeah, so you can copy the cosine values from here and it is moving in opposite directions. You have to model accordingly. Okay, 0 0.866 and 0 0.5 cosine value. Then you enter the flange weight as 138. And you see the different size difference. This is 6 inch and this is 4 inch. You need to change this one to 6 inch. And you have to check the properties from vendor drawing now. N6. Go to N6. N6. Outlet to pump. And uh, what is the thickness? 6 inch? Nothing. They have not provided any thickness here. They should have given the thickness, no? Or we need to see any other thickness is provided. They are not provided any thickness because in, the, in this nozzle table only they have to give thickness. 6 inch. Land thickness is 32. Flat face. They use flat face. Okay. So that means they have used uh, slip on flanges, I think so. Not well lit flanges. No, well lit flanges only they use. Okay. Well lit flanges only they use. Okay. One minute. Uh, so they have not given any thickness, so we will use the same schedule as pipe. Uh, as, so it is 40 schedule, 40 years. You need to check the material of the nozzle. So here it is. What is the material? also they are not good. See it's all structural material is SS316 just SS316 only. Okay. 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 Okay, if they are not provided, then uh, one minute. Uh, here it is there, no? no. So for stainless steel pipes, we can use the same material of the pipe. So A312 TP316. And we need to check the dimension. From here to here, nozzle neck, what is the dimension? Because after this, vessel will start, no? So this dimension <coughs> nozzle projection uh, nozzle projection is given as 200 mm that means this dimension from here to here this dimension this dimension is 200 mm ok up to the OD of the equipment so 200 minutes go to the next node here so if it is any skewed you have to give dimension at this length only not dx or dz okay so minus 89 plus 200 okay this is your uh, dimension of the nozzle leg you have to anchor here okay 10171 you give the C node as 10171 that is your OD of the equipment from sorry uh, outside diameter of the equipment and uh, what is the OD of the equipment you have to see 
2200 is ID and uh, thickness is what will be our thickness it is not given properly So you see uh, the top of any OD is provided, it is given here, radius uh, 800. If anything is there, no, they have not provided anything. So uh, we will assume as 10 mm thickness, just we will see. Or uh, in this you can find, yeah, you see, to ID, uh, yeah, yes, it is here, 2200 ID and 10 mm thickness, okay. And lamination also the not required, will consider 10 mm thickness only. 2200 plus 10 plus 10, triple two zero is the OD of the equipment. So divided by 2 will be your radius, sorry. 2 to 2 0 divided by 2 triple 1 0 ok so you have to model the equipment as triple 1 0 now we enter the OD of the equipment triple 2 0 and 10 mm thickness like this ok and then enter the material and uh, parameters from the equipment. So here yeah, the design parameters they have given us. How much? Uh, 65 is uh, design temperature. And since we have used uh, solar temperature, you can use the same here also. And 40 is your operation te uh, operating temperature. That is correct. And then minimum design temperature is. They have not provided anything, so we use the same temperature what we have provided for the pipes. Okay. So now we make it as double double click as rigid without element. We'll model as rigid only. And material you need to see because generally uh, for vessels and all it will be plate form material A240. You can use A240. Tipping 316L we can use. Okay. Then go to the next element. So here, uh, here we have model up to the center. So again, it is coming down means up to here 150. So after that, distant is there. So we model here up to 150. Go to 150 minus 150. Okay, we just double double click as rigid, double click rigid, and then 425. So uh, since you see they were uh, support is modeled from top. Okay, so no need to consider like that because our nozzle is here. So our vessel is up to this level. That is this 425 is there, no? Up to your vessel is there. Here up to here, say 425 is uh, uh, your distant dimension. So we will model up to 425 as vessel. Go to here, minus 425. Your temperature and uh, uh, pressure, everything remains same. Okay. So I have maintained the same pressure for the pipe, no issue. Okay. You can give, or in the vessel. Drawing if they provided any pressure, the same pressure also you can maintain, no an issue. So after that you see, it is 1000 mm, up to the anchor here, it is given as 1000 mm from the distant, before distant, so from the shell, so 1000 minus 455, you will get the dimension of the leg on 1000 
minus 425, 575. So minus 575. So here there will not be any temperature because it uh, there will not be any fluid flow for, for this leg. So what we need to we have to anchor here A and C first give anchor okay. Here what we will do, we need to change this temperature as ambient temperature. So what will be our ambient temperature in this case 21 degree. So what we will do, 21, 21 and 21. So here what we need to just give 0, 0. Pressure uh, no need to consider, it just make it as 0, okay. So now we have modeled the entire piping and also the equipment. Okay. So, so after this, what we need to do? We need to define the working and standby temperature. That we will see it in the next class. So T1, uh, we will continue with the next one. Okay. So how to check the inputs and uh, uh, working and standby assigning of working and standby temperature and analysis. So we will do uh, discharge line modeling also, after that we will do the analysis and we will see the results, okay, thank you.